uh, I think we're about to see the demise of the label of the major label system uh, any day now mm -hmm. in you know the next couple of years easily I said this five years ago and we're almost at the end of my prediction here um, and I'm not th I'm not sure that's uh, all a bad thing if you put the music back in the people's hands who are creating it you'll find that it's 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 probably going to be a better thing. man Brian McKnight and you're watching ADTV it is what it is you know you've been in for a long time so what would you wish you had Okay, what lessons have you learned in the music business? Because like I said, you are a creative force. You, right. you tour, you want to be with the people, but the business can always get in the way of that. So what have you, what have you learned in your experiences? Have a team of people with you that you can trust and that you trust their opinions even if they're telling you something that you don't want to hear. Be, be cognizant of the fact that you don't know everything, but stick to your guns. And that's a tough thing to do because at this point, uh, I'm in on every decision. There is nothing that happens that I don't okay or veto. And that's a tough position to be in because you may make the wrong decision, but at least if I make the wrong decision, it's one that I made as opposed to something that someone else decided for me and I didn't have a chance to. And I've dealt with a lot of that in my career and I think for the last two years or so, actually since 2009, I've been in complete control of that. And uh, the wheels haven't come off just yet. When you you know make a song, how do, you said you've got a team, but how do you critique your music? These days, everything that I write for an album goes on. Okay. It's been that way probably since my second or third album. Um, I think I figured out what the formula was. Because my first album, I wrote 150 songs for it. And 13 went on the record. And my second one, I wrote about 50. And then there were like 15. Then any time, I probably left off three. Back at one, every song I wrote went on. I think that the, the process became more focused. So, songs that that when I get halfway done, don't seem right, I don't finish. It's the ones that I know, it's like, okay, this is, yeah. Then I finish it and I know immediately that it's got the right feeling and there's just the right chord change with the right melody, with the right lyric. And to me, that's what makes the song. It's not so much hook oriented anymore, but I tend to just write strong hooks anyway. Cause that's usually what I start with, but I kind of have that formula down. And I know that some of the songs aren't gonna be the ones that are on the radio. But it's funny to me when I open up suggestions for, for uh, requests every night, the songs that people ask for, because it's very rarely the more popular songs. I mean, at 43, 43 years of age, you're in fantastic shape. You know, um, <laughs> so touring, I mean, how, you know, you must work out. That must obviously help you, you know, do the rigors of going from this country is the, to country. This is the way I look, I look at it. I, I need 45 minutes out of every day to focus on my body. If I can't find 45 minutes, then I should stop doing all of this. Yeah. Well, you know, because it's such a fast world now that, you know, it people, is, people but neglect their health. And you know, I, I, it's, it's vanity on one side. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the fact that I know I'm getting older. Um, and I, I've watched my parents and other people in my family who are older who have a very difficult time getting around. I've always been athletic, so I still do. Mm -hmm. A uh, bunch of different things and are very active and you know, I, I like when I take my clothes off The young lady who's with me is like, oh man, that's what 43 looks like. I said, no, this is what this 43 looks like <laughs> um, Is there any studio experiences you because you must have been a bunch of Musical icons are there any studio experiences you can give us insight into you know, maybe the songs you know, the times I have been in with people, it's, it's been the best people in the world, from David Foster to uh, David Sanborn to Marcus Miller to, uh, to Celine, all the way to, I mean, even my experiences with Boys to Men 20 years ago uh, and forward have all, they were all, you know, uh, stepping stones to, to get here. Most of my own records have been single and solitary. I've done on my own. But the times that I've had a chance to, to be in the studio with Stevie and just marvel at how he works and the way he works, um, it's inspirational. Um, because you want to be, I, I would have loved to have been in some of these, imagine if you were in the recording session for My Share Your More and were able to watch that. Well, we don't get that opportunity, but when you see him, you ask him. And I ask everybody the process, how'd you do this, how'd you do that, uh, to the point of being annoying. Because I want to know. I want to know if my experiences in any way are the same. And I found that, you know, the creative process for creative people in anything are all really about the same. It comes from inside of you. It comes from somewhere that you can't even explain 
the osmosis of the way it happens. Like yesterday, I was in here, I was playing, doing around, and I finished playing, and Janelle was like, what's that? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what it was, I mean, and that's will probably end up being a song at some point. So I don't, I don't know where it comes from, but I think that all of us share that same, that same gift and that same vision. Okay, I'm closing. What would you want your legacy to be? You know, when they write about Bright My Night, in your own words, how would you want them to remember you and the music? Uh, on my epitaph, I hope it reads, and I'm gonna put this in my will then. Here lies Brian McKnight. He wrote a few good songs. <laughs> that make me happy. That's being extremely modest. <laughs> <laughs> Humble back, but sir, it was um, great speaking to you. You too. All the best on the show. Thank you.